Warning. The game I play in this video includes mature content. It contains strong language, violence and oppressive themes and is therefore not recommended for people below the age of 18. Hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome to Masochistia made by John Oldblood, a game about fate. So let's have a look at what this game has in store for us. Warning, this game includes mature content, strong language, violence and oppressive themes. Recommended for ages 18 plus. Click no to immediately exit this program. Click yes to proceed. Well, there's your disclaimer. If you're below 18, this is not for you. Oh, sensitive to these type of subjects. What type of subjects? I don't know yet because I'll be going blind to this game. Hello, Hamilton. Did you run away again? Okay, I have options here. Who Who is there? Yes, sir. You know how father can be. Who is there? Do you not know? Okay, please no more talking, please. I I don't need you. Oh dear. I don't need you. I'm independent. Oh, Hamilton. Without me, you are nothing. We are nothing. Okay. Okay, I can look around now. Okay. Alright, I can click here or I assume on the key. So I'm gonna pick that up first. Aged key. Flex of rust and earth stain its bow and blade. Okay, I do open inventory and need to continue. So I have that. Can I go anywhere else? Move to the cellar. I'm gonna have a look at the left first. Or is that locked? That's locked. I suppose I can open that with my key. No, there's nothing to the left. Open inventory. Use your key. Now, can I drag that? Yeah, there we go. What did that say? Go to the valley. I could not see what the black text said. Lovely. Act one, the family. Oh, did I miss out on the basement now? Okay, great. I'll go back if I missed out on something. Welcome back. Okay. What was that? Him? They call him. The Grey Man. I don't like him. He doesn't scare me. But I'm just gonna go with I don't like him. <laughs> I don't think he cares if you like him or not. I was afraid of that. Either way, I'm sure we will see him again soon. You should head back home, Hamilton. Your poor mother. She must be worried sick about you. Okay, so... I don't have to go back and record something else. I can move to the cellar right now. Coals, can I use that? No. What's in here? Nothing? Hmm, nothing I see yet. Okay. What's that behind there? Ah, oh, not something I can click on. Anyway, let's move back upstairs then and go back to the valley, I suppose. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. I really hope that guy is not there. Okay, I just came from that shed. I presume this looks kind of nice okay move deeper into the valley okay, head back towards home they told me I should go home so maybe that would be the better option for now but I think I'm gonna move into the valley I'm curious just checking if there's anything on my left no Okay, I'm heading further into the valley because I am curious. Okay. That's a nice windmill. Is there anything I can do here? Oh, there we go. Okay, I can head back, back towards the shed or I can...
do not enter yet. That just makes me want to enter it, right? You you know that. Uh. Ah, why not? You know. Click. Come on. Oh, I can't even click it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, well, I suppose I'll go back to the shed. And I'll go back home. I will listen to what the nice man said, and I will go back home. And with the nice, mean, nice man, I mean the voices in my head. This game reminds me a little bit of Yearwalk, if you played that. That's also a very interesting game. Okay, I can head home, or I can move towards... What did that say? Move towards the creek. Okay, that's it. Move towards the creek. Okay. There's not much I can do here. To downstream. Okay, there's a bridge over there. I could go for the dice downstream or I could cross the bridge. Uh, let's go this way first. I'm clicking. But maybe my character is smart enough to not cross a weird ass bridge. Okay, never mind. Go downstream. I really like the music of this game. It's very relaxing. The woods? Not yet. Okay. Well, I suppose I have to get home. I suppose that's my only option. And with weird ass bridge, I meant rickety bridge. Bridge. I'm sorry. My English isn't 100%, but you'll find out later. Head home. Okay. Can I do anything other than go inside? No, I can only head back to the valley, I think. Alright. Let's go in. Oh, that's a lovely painting. I love what... Oh, wow. I love what you've done to the place. <laughs> okay, I can go outside, or... I can go upstairs, or I could go deeper into the, what did that say? Deeper into the home. That's a weird way of describing that. And that's a really strange door for in a house. <laughs> Owl face. Am I related to Slenderman? <laughs> the dining room. Ah, dear sweet mother. She loves you. She loves you not. Okay. What does that mean? Oh, is that mother? Hello, mother. You look... Alive. Hamilton, my dear child. How I've missed you. Are you crying? Where have you been? How dare you frighten me like this? How dare- okay. I'm sorry mother, I've been here in the house all day. That's a lie. I was just outside, not far from here. I'm gonna tell the truth. Do you think I'm a fool? You forget that I created you. Worthless creation that you are. You know, if I discover you're lying, I will have your father beat your skull into the floorboards. Now tell me again. Where were you? I'm sorry I went to the old shed in the valley. Mother, I would never lie to you. I went to the old shed in the valley. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you will be sorry, child. Your father will beat you till your tears run dry. You spineless little shit. Lying to your mother. And when your father is done beating you, I won't come to help you this time. You can cry all you want. Your father will. Wait. Your father? Ah, Hamilton, I am reminded. My dear child, I have a task for you. Is it a task that could make you forget about, you know, the whole bashing my skull into the floor? Okay. What task is that? My sweet child, you're a good boy. Thank you, gender confused mom. How you've grown. I love you, Hamilton. 
You do know that I love you, don't you? I need you to bring your father his medication. Okay, but father hates me, but I don't want to see father. Uh, father hates me? Your father loves you, Hamilton. Almost as much as I do. He's upstairs in his room. Be a good lad now. Take him his medicine. You will do that, won't you? Okay. I suppose I'll do it. I suppose. Dear sweet Hamilton. Thanks, Mom. Nice chat. The scent surges through your nose, your eyes water. Okay. It said medication, like that. And then I saw her coming from the other room. Is this still Mother? Oh, it is. Oh, how I hate her. The cunt thinks she can control me. Mother, what are you talking about? Mother, are you all right? Are you all right? Her voice, so shrill, so piercing into my skull. And everywhere I go, she follows me. Can I have no peace? I hate her so. Mother, please lie down. That's the only option I have. Okay, can I talk to you anymore? Mother mumbles to herself. You decide to leave her alone. Okay, that seems wise. I'll just leave her be for now. So, I guess I need to bring my father his medicine. I hope that goes all well. I assume daddy is upstairs. Okay, now this game is obviously referring to mental illness. Oh, that startled me. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Let me go upstairs. There we go. Is that my father? Okay. I can talk to the door or I can go to Walter's room. Again, like this. I really wonder what's that all about. Walter's room. Is Walter my little brother? Perhaps? Okay, I'll, I'll go to dad first. Who disturbs me? Okay, father is... Okay, I'll, I'll go with father. Spit it out, boy. Do you have my medicine? Yes. Bring it into me. Okay, are you this way? Oh, there's something over there. The attic. Okay, are you this way? There you are. Oh, you look good. Let me just, let me just, let me just, let me just give you this. Because I assume talking to you would cause trouble. What is it, boy? Father, I spit it out. Why must you stammer and stutter like a frightened girl? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why are you always sorry? Do you know who is really sorry? I, I believe it was mom. It is I that is sorry. You're, you're sorry? Father, I'm so glad to hear. I think I'm just going to ask him. I'm going to be very careful about this approach. Yes, boy. I'm sorry that I ever let that bitch of a mother birth you into existence. I had I had a feeling you were going to say that. Do you know she only ever gave birth to one truly good child? Then God looked down from heaven and he determined that I deserved less. And he took my own son away from me and then cursed your mother's mind, turned her heart against itself. And then I beat her, you see. I tried to fix what he did to me, but it was futile. I told her I needed more. We must replenish what God stole from me. And she gave me Walter. 
the masochistic filth. Okay, you don't understand, the pain is good. Father, he is your son. Okay, he did not want me to stutter. I guess I go with number one for now. No, you don't understand. Why should I try to understand? Oh, I don't understand, I'm sorry. It is an abomination before God. At first I tried to beat the evil out of him, but then I found he just thrived on the pain I inflicted. But then, the cruelest of jokes, God gave me you. You're the worst, the combination of all their evils. But I can't help, I am who I am. I am who I am. I should have never let her birth you. I stood there with the hanger and the knife. Oh God. I was ready to carve you from her womb. But your mother screamed. She promised me that you'd be different. But you tricked her. You lied to her. Do you know why God gave you to me? Please, Father, no. Do your worst. Do your worst. Yes, of course. That's what you would like, isn't it? Well, boy, you're in luck. Today, you will get what you desire. God gave me you so that I could beat the evil from you. And with his help, I will surely be victorious. Oh god, he's going for mercy. Mercy! Are you alright? What have I done to deserve this? I don't mind the beatings. What have I done to deserve this? Maybe I'll get some information from this. We scare him. He fears us, Hamilton. Because he does not understand us. Or what we will become. And what we will become is what truly frightens him. How your heart races. Can you feel it in your chest? You must calm yourself. There are some pills in your pocket. Take the pills. Why do I need pills? I don't need any pills. I'm gonna ask why I need any pills. You're a special boy, Hamilton. So special, in fact. There are those out there who would seek to take you and make you their own. Do you remember outside the shed in the woods? I remember. The gray man. Was it me? There are others far worse than he. Now take your pills. Okay. okay. I can move. Okay, so to summarize what just happened a little bit is apparently his father hates him. That seems kind of obvious. Um, and they apparently lost a child before. And now his father is abusive towards his children. It's all a horrible situation, really. Okay. What should I do right now? I'm obviously in a state of... I don't know what kind of state I'm in, but I'm in a state. The door is locked. Father must be drinking. Okay. That leaves Walter's room. <coughs> Walter. Are you home? Are you locked in here? There's Walter. Oh god. Okay. Walter takes a step toward you. You find yourself taking a step backwards. Yes, because he looks like Honeyball. Oh my god. Okay. I don't think I can do much here. Do I have anything in my inventory? No. I can't access my inventory. What's that? Remember to take your pills. Oh, I can take pills. Oh, I haven't done that yet. Maybe that's because... Oh, okay. Now it makes sense to me. 
So when I freak out, I'm supposed to take my pills. Okay. They help, I suppose. Can I talk to you now, Walter? No, I can't. All right, I guess I'll go back downstairs and look for mother, I guess. That boy in the backyard, can you hear him? No? He is calling your name. Okay, so I I'm supposed to go to the backyard? I think I'll do that. I'll go do that. To outside. Okay. I really like the sound in this game, by the way. It is so fitting. Okay, can I go to the backyard? Yeah, move to the backyard. What boy called my name? Is that the boy? No, it's a statue. Thank God. Four, 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 five, four. Okay. I assume you're the boy. Are you Hamilton? Yes, how do you know my name? Or do I know you? My friends, to my friends told me that I would find you here. They told me that I would find a boy here, with dirt and blood on his face. Is that me currently? You do seem to meet that description. I haven't seen a mirror yet. I suppose I should introduce myself. My name is Albert. What friends are you talking about? Okay, how did they know I would be here? I think I'm gonna go with the second one. The angel, Michael, that's his name. He knows everything. This sounds crazy, but he can he can even see into the future. The future? Wow, he does sound wonderful. Or that does sound crazy, I don't believe in angels. The second one would be me, I suppose, but I think I want to be friendly for now. The future? Wow, he sounds wonderful. I promise you, he really is wonderful. The messenger? That's what his name means. It's a beautiful name, isn't it? I like my name better. Hamilton, huh? I don't like that name at all. It sort of, it sort of sounds like ham and eggs, don't you think? No, no, not at all. Maybe you should change it. I don't know. And it's not just Michael. There's a girl with him. Her name is Grace. She is, well, it's hard to describe. She is perfect. Can she, s can she see the future too? Perfect, no one can be perfect. Um, I'm gonna go with number two. Oh, but she is, she is the sweetest thing I've ever known. Can she see the future too? No. She is far more powerful than that. She is the end of our story. The end of our story? I don't understand. How do I meet these friends of yours? Um, the end of our story. I don't understand. I want to know more about this. I don't see how you could understand. You've never met them. How do I meet these friends of yours? You will find them at the shrine. Deep in the woods. Across the bridge, perhaps? There will be a guardian angel outside the gate. You will need tell you will need tell him the magic words. Then he will let you in. It's the magic word. But if you get them wrong, he will kill you. So be sure to get them right. But how will I know the magic words? I promise you, you will know them. But how do I find the shrine? I don't know, that sounds risky. N not any less risky than staying here. Not any more risky than staying here, I mean. But how do I find the shrine? Go deep into the woods when you find the guardian. 
He will take you into the shrine. My friends will be waiting for you. Okay. Four 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 five four one four four, and then that symbol underneath that. You know what? I'm gonna take a picture of that. Okay, got it. Um, I've kind of run out of time for this episode, so I'm gonna wrap this up. I am definitely going to continue this game. This looks very, very interesting. So, um, this is obviously about mental illness and about abuse, and these are some very um, difficult things to talk about sometimes. If you need help, I will leave a couple of links in the description that can uh, help you into the right direction. Because no one should have to deal with this, no one deserves this. And I'm sorry if I'm not very good at talking about this, um, especially in English. But I really do wish the best for you and I hope you will be able to get out of your situation and live a safe and happy life. Um, I'm going to leave the link to this game in, this, in the description as well, uh, as well as my Facebook and Twitter. Um, and I'm going to thank you for watching. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! Hello everyone and welcome back to Masochistia. Now this is where we left off last time. I took a picture of uh, this tree and its code. And now we are supposed to find the Guardian. So we're supposed to go deep into the woods. The boy just said... Who's that? Is that the swim? Okay. Oh, that's the end. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, this is a demo. Okay, as I tried to walk out of the backyard, it turned out this was the end of the demo. So there is nothing more to this demo than what we just saw, which was amazing, by the way. I am really curious about what this game has to offer, about what this complete game has to offer. Oh.